Hey everybody, welcome back to the Aldo Cycling YouTube channel where today we're going to be taking a look at the Gran Piemonte. Obviously, the Valle Valesine was cancelled because of extreme weather. So, we'll uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens with this one. But, uh, yes, I actually I saw a comment which was uh, saying that we should probably take a look at a little bit like a profile, which makes a lot of sense. So, uh, the Gran Piemonte this year looks like a very interesting profile in terms of it could really lean towards attackers or it could all come back together for a sprint you've got a long flat bit of a start then you've got the Paso della Colma which is 8.6k at 5.5% but there is a flatter bit in the middle so realistically these longer stretches will be more towards 7% averages maybe getting a little bit steeper towards the top so that's really where the race is going to be decided if an attacking group goes there and it's relatively big and it cooperates well it could make it to the finish Alternatively, because the day hasn't been particularly taxing before then, you won't see too many domestiques dropping, or if they do, they'll be able to hopefully get back on. And uh, yeah, it means that probably an organised chase might form on this uh, uh, Clemosina kind of climb. And uh, then we've got about an hour to try and bring it back, but yeah, it is very up and down. But you got a lot of versatile sprinters in this field, uh, so it's very possible that they will survive to the finish and it really depends on your psychology of a race how do you think it's going to pan out if you think it's going to be a sprint go all in on the sprinters if you think it's going to be an attacking group that makes it to the finish go with that or you could split it half and half if you want to try and keep a foot in both camps Ghana I wouldn't be going with personally I know he was I think he was in the front group in this race last year but uh, I wouldn't be going with Ghana personally and it's also worth noting that with 50k's to go you'll get those uh, breakaway points and that is about 130k's so realistically an attacking group will almost certainly get you that first checkpoint of points at the very least so it won't be completely uh, worth nothing if even if they're brought back so Hershey I think is good you know he's he's your man if you think an attacking group's gonna go hey it's me I was literally just recording this well, I was editing the video and then I looked at the start list and Hershey isn't on there anymore. So anything that I say about Hershey from this point onwards in the video, just ignore it because he's obviously not in the race anymore. Enjoy the rest of the video. Mahoric is a bit unknown. I think he crashed in his recon of Gravel World Champs when he finished top 10 there. Uh, I don't know what to make of Mahoric. Very unknown. I would say go with Hershey instead. Mahoric would be a really big just Hail Mary for you to be picking, in all honesty. I, I'm probably not going to, just because I think that's just too much uncertainty for my liking. Matthews, great versatile sprinter. If you think it's going to be a sprint, Matthews is your man. Arambaru, they've also got Ivan Garcia Cortina, so I'm not sure who they'd be going with. Arambaru might make it into the attacking group, or he might be sprinting, but... I don't know if Ivan Garcia Cortina is there, who they'd be going with. So maybe that's a little bit of uncertainty with Arambaru that might make you not want to pick him. Uh, Bad Jolie, I think in, in theory, is the fastest guy Lidl Trek would have in a sprint. It will be a pretty reduced sprint if, if it is the case. Uh, he was second in this race last year, I think, behind Hershey's. So yeah, Bad Jolie maybe uh, could be a decent one. We've also got Schoins here, uh, who I prefer as an attacking option. Groves, great versatile sprinter. I think that... If you pick Groves, you've got a really good certainty of getting some points just because he's really good at climbing. We saw that in the Vuelta. And if like, he's probably going to make it over that climb not too far behind the attackers, like maybe a minute or two in arrears. So I would say Groves is a, re is a very good one to be going with, probably the fastest and kind of most safe sprinter to be picking. Uh, Trenton. Yeah, I think he's a bit... He could do either. He could maybe go with an attacking group or I reckon he might... He'd probably get dropped a little bit. So my expectation is that he's more of a sprinter, but he's not the fastest sprinter, so probably a top 10 candidate. Velens, I think... I don't know. In theory, Velens could be a good pick, but I think they'll just be working for Hershey. But maybe Velens could make it into that front group. Uh, these 18 credit guys, none of them are particularly good. 16s, Bardet for in an, an attacking group. Very good option. You've got Ivan Garcia Cortina, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, Molomer could make that attacking group. Tobias Haaland Johansson could make that attacking group. Schoins will almost certainly be trying to go with Hershey as well. And uh, it's if those can, you know, if you get Schoins and Molomer and Hershey and 
you know, Bardet in that front group, are they going to be able to, you know, are the likes of Jake Walula and Alpson de Koenig going to be able to bring that back? I, I don't know. Um, they might not be able to. Corbin Strong, good sprinter for you to be picking as well, if you think it's going to be a sprint. The 14s, Astana, then we've got Ballerina, they've got Cantor, they've got Case Ball as well, who did good in Paritols the other day. In theory, they'd be going for Cantor. I think this is probably a little bit too hard for him, though, personally. Uh, so I don't know who they'd be going with. Uh, Vandenberg, good, good versatile sprinter to be picking as well. He's just like Michael Matthews, just kind of like a, just a little bit below um, in terms of kind of quality. Albanese, absolutely. You know, pretty safe option to be going with in the Italian races. And Stan Van Tricks, possibly, you know. Will Lightning Strike twice? Will he be able to make it into this front group? It wouldn't surprise me. You know, like I said in Tovare Valesine, that win at Copper Bonocchi, you know, that's not a fluke. That happened on merit. So Van Tricks is definitely not to be looked over. And then the tens, like I mentioned, Case Ball, you've got maybe the marker as well might make that attacking group or if not maybe he'll be sprinting the marker's a weird one if he doesn't make that attacking group he won't really be doing all of too much the eights you've got balancini could be the fastest rider for ue if it came back to a sprint but i'm not sure it might be a little bit too hard for him basato was top 10 the other day at um whichever race it was he came top 10 he's obviously a very fast finisher tobias london delayson looked very good in the was it a tour of Croatia, the Crow race? He was very good. Uh, they've also got Bittner here, though, so a little bit uncertain as to who they'd be sprinting for. Rob Stannard. Bahrain could be sprinting for, like, three different people, but Rob Stannard, I think, could be a top ten for sure, uh, if it was a sprint. Uh, the sixes, you've got Bittner, of course. If you think it's going to make going to be a sprint, then it might be Bittner, but it might be Andalason as well. Barati, good sprinter for... Bahrain victorious as well. Kanagi, maybe the fastest guy that Bardiani have. They've also got Fiorelli, who's cost 12, who I've glanced over earlier. Uh, Pia Andale Cote has actually been in good form recently at the Crow Race. And yeah, I wouldn't look over him actually. Um, Corbin Strong, haven't seen him in a little while. Last time we saw him, he just DNF'd the Canadian races. So Pia Andale Cote, if you're looking for a differential, could be. An interesting one to be going with. Uh, Govka. Yeah, if you don't think it's going to be Rob Stannard or, or Barati, you could go Govka, or Govka uh, by all means. And Lonardi, fastest sprinter that Polti have. He climbs pretty well too. So that's certainly a, a relatively safe one to be going with. Parasini, considering that Nizzolo is likely to get dropped, Parasini is a better uh better choice because he can climb a bit a bit better and Wandal very good in world champs could make that attacking group so you've got quite a lot of attacking options and yeah it just depends whether they can hold off the the sprinters uh Bruto Messo another sprinter for Bahrain victorious I just really don't know who they're going to be going with in theory De Preto is a very safe one because he could get assist points on Michael Matthews he might sprint to a decent position himself if he's leading out uh, maybe he can make that attacking group. I wouldn't bet on it, but he could do. Or you could go with uh, Kitsky if you think uh, if you think Caden Groves is going to win, because then you could just get like thirty assist points there pretty easily. I don't really see anybody in this four credit bracket making like that attacking group. And if they do, it'll be it'll just be you know fair play. I just didn't like see that. Uh, this is my team at the moment. A little bit uncertain about it. I've got a foot in both camps kind of strategy Matthews, Groves, Albanese and Lonardi then I've got Hershey and Schoins realistically I mean I'm in the top 10 at the moment and I'm not sure what to do maybe you guys could in the comments leave what you would do uh, do I go all in on either the attacking group or the sprinter group in hopes of moving up a little bit more or do I keep it like this in hopes of basically not losing out a lot of positions but it'll leave me open to maybe losing some positions to people who take a little bit more of a gamble let me know what you think in the comments section is it worth it just to take a bit of a risk in these category free races because they're not you know they don't score too highly and uh, then just play it safe with Il Lombardia later in the week. Let me know what you think. And also put your teams in the comment sections down below as well. Hopefully this race goes ahead, unlike Tovalli Valesine. And all that is left to say 
is to stay safe out there and I will see you in the next video. Salut!